clap noise. What's going on, world? It's me, St. Uno, back again for another one. And in tonight's video, stupid, uh, got a special Aquarius season message. You know what I'm saying? A message for the fixated. I need to take my goddamn trash can. <laughs> I mean, that be bullshitting, bro. Every time I pass by, I'd be like, I got some. I always be having shit in my hand, though. So I was like, I can't bring the trash in, bro. So I'm making a video right now, bro. I'm going to get it, though. I'm going to get it together. We all going to get it together. We all going to get it together. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, I got a special Aquarius season message, man. So it's the fixed, fixated um, air. You know what I'm saying? Middle of the goddamn winter. You know what I'm saying? So we in like the, the deep death, depths of the death. You know what I'm saying? Deathity death season. And I uploaded a video called Death, essentially talking about a similar concept, but this is kind of a more nuanced uh, aspect of it. It's like, you always gotta stay in control of your thoughts and feelings, right? So, um, a lot of times where we where we get the game fucked up is we left we let external outcomes and expectations and circumstances and situations and stuff like that dictate our thoughts and feelings, which is backwards because if we let the external make us think or feel a certain way, when the thoughts and the feelings are actually what's even creating the um the external realm then we're we're not doing ourselves no justice it's we got to be in control of the thoughts and feelings right stay in those energies long enough be master mindful of those energies enough to the point that they create more beneficial circumstances in the external realm right but so and, and I'll, it's 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 perfect too. Well, not perfect, but it's just synchronicity up too. Because I was reading an article today about um, the difference between like U.S. produce and like European produce. Like, like why do people go to Europe and they eat food and like what the fuck? Tomatoes actually taste good. Like, produce actually tastes good. You know what I'm saying? And it's, it, 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 it comes down to a lot of factors, but one of the main factors is, is that in Europe, they base their produce on seasonality, you know what I'm saying? Which is how it's always been for thousands of years or whatever. But, you know what I'm saying? Modern science allows humans to grow strawberries in the middle of winter and grow watermelons in the middle of winter and shit like that they were saying how american consumers uh prioritize having produce at all times a year and that's not that, that like you the the cost of that is okay shit don't be as good you know what i'm saying whereas in europe they be like if the shit out of season it's out of season nigga we ain't got it you know what i'm saying wait till that's the right time and that's essentially what i'm talking about in this video you know what i'm saying um a lot of people may be expecting because you know what i'm saying and, and then and too in america it's like this whole capitalist uh you know what i'm saying protestant ethic where it's like we're always trying to grow our business or like you know what i'm saying hustle culture grind culture you know what i'm saying so you might be a content creator or you might be whatever the fuck even at your job and shit we're like always want some more and more and more growth energy which ain't no wrong with growth but we're in the middle of winter. We're in the middle of death season. So you may have certain things. Hold on, I gotta get this wine. This wine. Very nice. Hey, doing? Oh, you know what? Oh, I'm smart. I brought my wallet because usually I use Apple Pay, but I'm making a, I'm making a video, so I can't use Apple Pay right now. Um, I'd be wanting to get the cork motherfuckers but i ain't got no wine opener so i just get the screw top get the screw top john but yeah we be wanting um i just get the little blend 
you be wanting growth at all times of the year. It's the same way people be wanting produce at all times of the year. And it don't work like that. We're in the middle of death season. Oh, you get to see right here? Yeah, yeah. You go ahead, though. Okay. You good? I'm still, I'm all right, appreciate it. Yeah. How you doing? Can I get this? Uh, $16.99. And, uh, um, a, uh, what is it called? The Dutch Master Palmer Leaf. Palmer? Yeah, Palmer. Right there, the blue one. Yep. That's it. Schmooler 20 hours. Thank you. Thank you. Right, appreciate it, bro. Have a good night. So yeah, shit might not be growing the way you want it to grow, right? Shit might not be popping the way you want it to pop, but it's not the season for that. You gotta respect the seasons, you know what I'm saying? And we're not separate from these seasons. We're not you know what I'm saying? Like, we, we are part of all the same shit. Just because humans create technology and all this kind of shit. They be thinking, oh, okay. The world is this and I'm that. It's like, no, we are the world. We are the world. We are the children. So, we, um, the same way the moon transits is what we are. And the sun transit, it's like, it's all, it's always about correlating that as above, so below. So when you're in the middle of winter and you get upset because shit isn't growing, right? Your stats ain't growing, your money ain't growing, your numbers ain't growing, your relationships ain't growing. Um, because you may have this quote unquote GMO mindset of always, you know what I'm saying? Wanting shit right now, always wanting shit to grow, always want shit to be popping, always want shit to be flourishing. It don't, nature don't show you that. Life don't show you that, you know what I'm saying? So we can do ourselves a lot better and a lot more favor if we work with the actual seasons. And now, like I said, so if you can come to terms with this and realize, okay, it's not necessarily the time for growth, right? Aquarius season, it's time to like, if anything, be detaching and ghosting and cutting shit off. You know what I'm saying? That's not working. It's more about refinement. So, and um, getting rid of the dead weight so when it does come back time to pop outside in airy season, tour season, then you can start expecting growth and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? You're not carrying around no dead weight, no, no bad associations, you know what I'm saying? Because you might fuck around and associate with the wrong individuals in this time based on you wanting to be, you know what I'm saying, wanting something right now when it's not really the time right now to be uh, to be growing some shit, you know what I'm saying? So you gotta find the right associations and then cut off the ones that's not working. So when it does actually come time for growth, right? You can grow with the right individuals. So you wanna be seasonal so you can get the most flavorful, delicious produce like they do in Europe. You don't want the GMO American version of produce. And I'm not talking about produce, obviously, but it's just the perfect metaphor you know what i'm saying um you always wanting shit when you want it and not correlating your desires and your plans and your outcomes with the seasons the seasons that we in you know what i'm saying oh that's fire as hell that's the reflection of the camera yo that's fire this is fire as hell so, look it's god finger god finger coming from the sky Yes, Saint Uno, talk to the people about, talk to the people about, I'm pointing at this up here. No, I'm pointing at, up at this, not my finger. I'm, I'm pointing at that shit up there. Talk to the people about the seasons, the seasons that we hear. All right, I got you, God. I got you. So yeah, don't let your thoughts and your feelings during this time. This is what they even talk about when they talk about seasonal depression, where one way to counteract the seasonal depression is to just embrace 
the sad, embrace the the death time. You know what I'm saying? The seasonal depression, yeah, it's partially because of the sun and cold and shit like that. But it's also due to our our mindset. If we had the right mindset, if we had the if we had like, if we were still in touch with nature, right? Um, we would be like the animals. We'd be hibernating right now. Animals are fucking hibernating right now. You know what I'm saying? So it's like they don't even got no time to be sad or depressed or have expectations or outcomes and shit. They just sleep through all this bullshit. So that's kind of you got to kind of mimic that same energy. It's like it's time for like a deep sleep. Like just shit like you shouldn't really be expecting you should. And I know I've been saying the whole video thoughts and feelings, but you really shouldn't even be having no thoughts and feelings right now. No expectations, no none of that. It's time to go, like, you're going to burn those chakras out. Always thinking and feeling. You know what I'm saying? So, what better time to, so things always need rest. Everything requires rest and restoration. And, you know what I'm saying? Turn your computers off. You niggas don't be turning your computers off. That's why them shits be getting fucked up. You got to turn your computer off. Your computer needs sleep. You need sleep. It's time to go to sleep on shit. Put thoughts and feelings to sleep. You know what I'm saying? Um, and this is the perfect time to do that. Aquarius season. Ghosting. Disassociating. Disassociate with thoughts and feelings. You know what I'm saying? This is the time. So that seasonal depression won't kick your ass because you, you like... When you don't take that deep rest in the middle of fixated winter, that's why you're depressed. Because you thinking and feeling and expecting and wanting outcomes and you want strawberries in the middle of fucking winter. No, take a deep rest. And when you don't take that deep rest, you're going to be depressed. That's what ends up happening. You know what I'm saying? So that's just a message that quote unquote came through, but ain't shit come through. Sorry, trash can. I got, got a bottle of wine. I can't take you in right now. Ain't shit come through. This is just the energies right now that we all have access to and that I'm privy to, but it is a, a message for right now. You know what I'm saying? Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. Like, you don't need to, you, know, like, you don't need to even think or feel about nothing right now. It's just it's cool out. Put things to death. You know what I'm saying? And then um, everything will play out when and as it needs to. You don't need to worry your pretty little head, okay? Now, I'm going to go inside and sip this wine. Get some food. I ain't going to think or feel about nothing. And I advise you do the same. Put your mind to rest. Put your heart at rest. Put everything to rest. So, when it comes time to wake up in the morning, 6 a.m., Aries, you go rested and you're good to go. You know what I'm saying? So that's pretty much it. I appreciate y'all for watching. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.